Hey guys, Pretty here. Welcome back to Sim Casino. Uh, I just loaded back in and we've got uh, money bags and stuff everywhere at the front and all around here and I have no idea why. What are you security guys doing? There's one here, one here, one here, one here. I've got four of them. There seems to be money bags everywhere. Maybe because when you save and reload in, the workers all reset and just drop the stuff wherever they are. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. But what I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to expand this delivery area. Um, because I don't know if it's big enough. But I don't know why things are whacked in out the front. Really don't know. Um, so this episode I was going to focus on up here where we're going to put in like our buffet and stuff. So let's have a look at that. Um, where is it? Down there. Obviously, down there. Um, so, doors. We want to go with a commercial single door, I think. What colour do we want it to be? I think just a normal colour can be fine. So we can have um, people walk in either end. Let's go with our uh, cash register. Let's have one at either end. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's go four from there. One, two, three, four from there. So people can walk in and um, order their food as they sort of want to, I guess. Let's go with um, a plant there. A plant there just to make it look reasonably nice. Now this kitchen is probably way too big, so I will um, obviously edit this a little bit. But I want to throw in two kitchen cookers. Let's go one, two, uh, kitchen hot plate. Can we put it there? Do not have any dramas. Kitchen preparation spot. Uh, one there, so I think it might be too big. Kitchen sink. Okay, that needs to go against the wall. One there, let's go one there. Want a staff only door. Okay, is that? Let's remove these. I know it costs us money, but I think I want to leave a bit more of a gap. And even leave a gap in the middle. Uh, yeah, let's leave a gap in the middle so we can walk in and out. Kitchen prep. I think we'll only need one of those. So let's um, throw in a wall through here. Let's remove this wall. That way we can sort of focus the buffet stuff down in here. So kitchen. Yep, a buffet. I've already put them in. Or already semi-put it in. Uh, ki or kitchen fridge. That would help too, wouldn't it? Luckily we can put one there. I don't know how many we're going to need. If we need one or two chefs. I'm really not sure. Um, we probably want a staff door in here as well. So they can sort of come out. So we've got a steak buffet. Can we put it there? We can. So steak buffet and a seafood buffet. That should be alright, they should still be able to staff one after we'll get around the front, I don't think. Um, come along here. So I'm not quite sure as to how I wanted things to be. Like I haven't really planned out our design at all. Let's go steak buffet. Seafood buffet again there. Uh, dessert buffet, we obviously need two of these guys. But I sort of want them central, so let's have a look and see. Uh, 33. So 17 is the central spot, so that's central there. Our dessert buffet. We throw one there and one there. Uh, drinks dispenser. What's that? And a beer dispenser, okay. How big is the beer? The beer dispenser is obviously a lot bigger. Beer there. Sort of just thinking. 
Do we want beer on both sides or just one end? Maybe just one end with the beer and then we can have a drinks dispenser. Uh, let's go one there and sort of one down here. So you have like more of the adult area. So adult area and kids area, but you wouldn't really bring kids here, would you? Probably not. Um, Alright, let's have a look at our dining tables. A dark brown, does that give you the colour of the chair? No, it doesn't, not really. Okay, that's just the colour of um, the leg. Then we can change the chairs. I think those chairs are fine. Go really dark? I think that's probably better. Uh, if we go a row... Go that way, then we can go side by side. Like that. Like that. Alright, come along. We want to go one, two, a gap of two. Right there, 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 and there. And there, that should be okay. Alright, then we won't have anyone else in that little spot. There, there, there and there. There and there, and I don't, we don't really want another table up there because it's too close. You could probably put one in here. Uh, do you want one? You put one there. I think that might be alright. Um, we've got one chef. So she's probably just waiting for some food. And I think we can actually add... Uh, let's get rid of this. Because I'm pretty sure... That we should be able to add... A shelf as well. So she will eventually start to stock all this. Now we want to put in um, some trash cans as well. So one there, one of one in the middle there, um, one down here, maybe, and even yeah, I guess one in there. I don't know, one in there that'll do. So that is. A little buffet, a buffet area. So let's have a look at the flooring. Um, what about stones? We haven't used any stone flooring yet. Let's go with some stone around the buffet area. Like that. Should we go... Like that along there. I don't really think we need to do that along there, do we? But I was going to go with carpets in here. Um, something, obviously, that doesn't stand out too much. Actually, the brown's not bad. I mean, it, does it clash too much with the, the tables and chairs? I don't think so. Right, and across there. There we go. Um, in here, we'll go with stones again. That looks alright. Walls, we'll go with some bricks. Yeah, that looks alright for the kitchen. We can actually go with a... Um, oh, that's a sliding door, that's not a window. A window. One there, one there, why not? And one right in the middle. I think this is as far as we're going to go. Up this way anyway, so... Uh, what's that? A whole window and one. Whole window and one. Whole window and one. There we go. Just add some extra windows in there. No one's coming in for food yet. It should be open, I think. Um, assign this to a kitchen. Ah, okay. So assign this to a kitchen. Assign to off it. There we go. Now that should be fine. Utensils, needing washing. Okay, transport screen. More ingredients, we've got none. Let's go to, uh, where's our utensils? 
There's nothing in there about utensils. I don't think. Utensils needed washing. Zero. Oh, okay, that's nothing. Yep, okay. And then we're just waiting for things to get delivered to there. So that should be fine. Let's actually speed it up. There's our first customer that turned up and then disappeared. Oh, that looks terrible. What's going on there? Ah, uh, paints. Panels, there we go. I don't really know what to go with in here. Uh, white panels like that, that doesn't look too bad. Yellow is probably not the best. Um, that probably looks alright. Alright, now we need some lighting of course. Just down in here. I think we'll just go with the standard sort of lights. Alright, we'll go there and there. Try and get all these lined up reasonably well. Hopefully that gives us enough lighting to make the place nice. So our chef doesn't seem to be too busy at the moment. Alright, there we go. So that should be enough lighting to keep them happy. Um, sign, 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 burger sign. I can't place it there because of the wall lamp. Alright, get rid of that. Let's go. That in there. Dismantle that. Throw a burger sign in. I don't know if there's any other signs for the food. That's a theatre sign. A neon flamingo, which we don't need. We could probably come down here. Let's get rid of this and go uh, burgers and we'll go actually get rid of you. Let's go with an arrow first. That way and burgers that way. Just in case you're hungry. Uh, burgers and that way. Well, not really burgers, but food. All right, looks like the buffet's getting reasonably busy. Uh, beer dispenser. Actually, tell us that it's got no food in it. Where's all the food? Why are you not doing anything? Where's our food? We've got bed sheets and stuff everywhere. Where's our bloody bed sheets? Sheets 20. Let's just go back to 10. Um, raw ingredients will go 5. And supply truck will call early because I don't know if they've even brought any of our ingredients in yet. We should have a. There we go. Oh, that's card decks. Raw, there's raw ingredients in there. We should have. There's two workmen. Two. Let's maybe bump that up to three. And three. Just, there's nothing, literally nothing in here. They're just coming to get drinks and disappearing. I still haven't seen our workman. Oh, there we go. Maybe she gets it herself, but she's doing something. Raw ingredients, 10 prepared. Why are you not cooking anything? They're all just coming and getting free drink. Well, not free drinks. Obviously paid for it, but let's go two and two. Why are they? So they're preparing food there. Progress. 90, 100. So there's 10 cooked food. So can you go and put that out there somewhere? Did she put it anywhere? Oh yeah, there goes some buffet food over there. Now people are coming in to eat. There we go, now we're getting things rolling. Alright, is there anything in here for retail, drinks bar, cash register? Does that class as a cash register, I guess? Um, revenue today, 1200 bucks. 12, oh, that's actually pretty good revenue. It's not too bad at all. Looks reasonably busy. 
tell me how many things, yeah, three things need to be washed. How are we going with our stock? Is it still all that? Why are these bed sheets? I'm just going to sell all these. They're all just sitting all over the bloody ground for no reason. I'll sell you if you don't get out of the way as well. Alright, there we go. Look at the money we've got in the vault. $340,000. Certainly uh, kicking things up a notch here at the moment. And we've got half a million in here. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, what I was thinking of doing now is coming into here and going save and view world. Because now we can move on and open up another casino somewhere else in the world. I want to go somewhere a little bit different. Um, I don't have a full design in my head, but I've got an idea for something. Um, so Rocky... Uh, it's a little bit different in price. But it doesn't matter either way. They've both got five floors. Let's go with that one. Buy property. I wonder if all this gets demolished before we move in. But all I want to do is pretty much throw down a whole heap of um, slots and stuff and eventually build it up again. But let's get this one started and we can bounce backwards and forwards between this one and the other one, I think. I think that'll be um, an idea. Okay, so what I want to do straight away is have a look at... Um, the foundations. How far can we go? 94. Um, so what's that? 47? It's half of 94. So where's 47? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, good on you. That was just a whole heap of money for nothing. Right, so there and there, let's go the wall tool there. Now, as much as I hate doing this because it's not going to give us our money back, let's get rid of that. So this is like our main entrance area. This is where that main entrance is going to be. So let's clear those walls. We want to go with um, the commercial sliding door again. So if we come out do a 3x3, three by 3x7, three, three by uh, clear these walls, go with a commercial door and I want to go with black, I want to make this one like really dark, and sort of dingy looking. Alright, so we come straight in and then I pretty much just want to have um, like slots everywhere, pretty much. I wonder if we can... Does it matter if we um, have a really high room? I don't know if it's going to matter, but I definitely want to go all the way to the edge. Oh, that was completely the wrong spot. Is that? That's the wrong spot too. That's the right spot, there we go. Uh, demolish structures there. Uh, demolish structures. What are you talking about? Oh, so we need to get rid of that first. Thought that was completely open though. It is, okay, so let's clear this wall. Go upstairs. Oh, that cleared that wall already, so that's good. Uh, foundation. Now that's right. I think it's 10. That's right, beautiful. Alright. Get this done. That done. We don't have a great deal of cash on us, but... As I said, it's just going to be pretty much straight pokies. Um, what do we need first? An ATM. So we want to walk straight in, have two ATMs, 
Uh, slot XRE. I want to go, as I said, like a dingy looking one. So what are the... They're like the oldest looking machines, aren't they? But that's Game Jack, so we can't change those. I think they're like the only other old ones. So go like that and go like that. Did that change anything? I only changed the legs. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, so what I want to do is go for five and then five again. I think have a gap. Five. Have a gap. Five. A gap and five. A gap and five. Obviously, our money's not going to be great to start with. So, this one we want to go. I think I want to just go 25s. Go that one, apply to all in row. Urban Forest 25s, apply to all in row. Uh, what's that? That's Lucky Mill 25s, all in row. Yep, Queen of the Sands 25 cents, all in row. The next one will go Santa's Gifts. 25 cents, all in row. Zombie treasures, 25 cents, all in row. And then we'll go back to the start again. The classic elven slots, all in row. Elven forest, 25 cents, all in row. Now we need another four, which hopefully we can afford them. So actually, let's go. Copy that, so one, two, three, four, like that. And then five. Down the other end we'll go five. And another five, like that. I know we're pretty much out of money already. So Elven Forest, then we want to go Lucky Mill. 25 cents, apply to all in row. Queen of the Sands, all in row. Uh, Santa's Gifts, all in row. And then Zombie Treasures, all in row. Now, straight away, we should be able to go... Can we get a half a million dollar loan? Uh, let's maybe go 250. Uh, we'll accept that, just to give us a bit of extra cash. Alright, so that's good. Now, we want to do some more. So we need to go with this, uh, black chair. I want to go with a gap at two. So that, like that. Probably could have done this an easier way, but anyway. Right, five, five. And five again. So that's taken up quite a bit of our cash. But what we need to do is start here again and go Elven Slots, dollar, all in row. Elven Forest, dollar, all in row. And do it this way, and then the other ones will be more expensive as we go back. Uh, Coin of the Sands for a dollar. Santa's Gifts, and then the Lucky Treasures, or Zombie Treasures I should say, all in row. And then this way, we'll go backwards, so we'll start at Zombie Treasures. That way we've, you know, got each one sort of closer to the start. I know it probably doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, lucky Mill. One dollar. Urban Forest, one dollar. Applied all in row. 
and then the classic one, all in row. I think that's pretty much all I want to do at the moment. I want to actually go like this. One, two. So that's, that's three. I think. So we'll go back another three to there. So that'll give us like a full area. Um, I want to put in go through here and it doesn't really matter but I want to go along this foundation line I think that's right Did we go we think about seven didn't we All right, let's go 10 by 7 maybe like a 5 by 7 will do to start like that um, then I want to go with single level which I don't think we didn't need a double level for that but for here I want to come back with let's go a 5 by 7 and then we want to go like a 5 by 10 then this side let's go a 10 by 10 and then this side will go like a 10 by 10 as well alright so the plan is that this is like an open area um, yeah so staff only in here staff only into there so this can be storage now we should have Yep, so a vault door. Should it be that way or the other way? It should be this way, shouldn't it? So we have the vault thing on the outside. Um, and then a staff only door into here. Now where is... Ah, security. Here we go. Security office. Cash vault. We want to go... A camera booth like that. I think, and then like that. Cry security gadget, that's fine. The cash vault. Um, this side over here, this might be toilets or something for out the front here, so we'll leave that empty. I'm just thinking cash vault up here. Or five, and we'll go down like that. Storage. Three, four, and five. Four like that. Let's get rid of that one. It's not that expensive. And do that, and then we can actually, you know, throw more storage in the middle as we sort of need to. Which we probably will now anyway, just like this. And like that, and like that. So that should be plenty of storage for us. Security office, cash vault. This could actually be the pit boss's office. Um, actually, I wonder if I could do that and then put this over here. Actually, like that. Invalid place and put that there. Can I change that and go research? Cries enclosed space. Ah, bugger. Alright, we could still. Or maybe we can turn that into offices. Let's do that instead. Uh, D zone that. Let's come across. Let's go. Where's our wall tool? Uh, let's go like this. Like that. And then split that in half. We can go a staff only door there one there and one there in the middle uh, so go research there pit boss there like that like that and now I'm thinking for the pit boss we could probably throw in like a TV we'll do the same with the research thing I know it's really not going to matter too much but 
just to make it look reasonably nice. Uh, let's go black and say green. One down in there, and we go with the red. And then obviously I can come through and tidy all this stuff up later on, but get some lights into there. Lights into there, same with the security office. Like that and that, and then our cash vault. Make sure it's definitely bright. Uh, we're going to need some lights in there, but I think we might just go with... Um, actually put them on this side. A couple of wall lamps, just so they can sort of see. So there we go, that's a decent start. Um, our delivery spot, we can move all this stuff. So D-zone everything. We want to go with drop-offs and pickups. So that's eight. Let's go like to 16 and go like this. Another eight. I want to actually look at getting some some flooring in, but what flooring do we use outside? So I want it to look, you know, like dark, like a really dark, a lot of black and stuff, so that would do. Let's throw in some grass like that. And as I said, I'm going to fix all this other stuff up later on. Uh, what about our deliveries? Maybe we can put... I don't know, I think our deliveries could have went like out the back here somewhere, but I don't know if they'll actually deliver it to there. Or can we put it like in here? I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't like the idea of it being seen from out the front. Uh, deliveries. Let's throw it in here. Like that. Then we can actually go with terrain. Like that. Uh, stone. Let's throw normal stone down in there. We can actually come through with this, like the hedge. And completely block that off from any view from out the front. Like that. Same with this side. Like that. Where's our... Garbage, there it is. So we'll go with the garbage zone. We can throw that into there. Like that. Um, let's throw a couple of dumpsters in there. Now, I don't know if we should put like a staff door there. Staff door there. I think that'll work. Like, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, terrain. Go like that. Split those. Ah, uh, I want to paint dropper it. Ah, because there's nothing there yet. That would help. Right, stone into there. And then there. Let's go too wide to the front. Too wide to the front. Fill that in with grass. And then we can throw this stuff back down into here. Just so it's sort of blocked off from everything else. Uh, what should we go with for lights outside? Uh, let's go there and there. So two back from there. And then there as well. So that gives a bit of light there. A bit of light as they come in. A little bit more there and there. And obviously, as I said, this we can wait. We don't have to stress about this right now. Uh, let's go with our staff hub. Security guard, we want three. Housekeeping one, workman two, pit boss. Yeah, we'll get the pit boss in. Admin staff really doesn't matter anymore, but these guys are there. So they will control eight cameras each, I think. So security could control up to eight cameras, so... Let's throw one between the first two. 
leave a gap of two and throw it in there. Leave a gap of two, throw it in there so they can monitor those cameras. Um, and then obviously we want a camera in the vault. Uh, what's wrong with that? Oh, there we go. Alright, so hopefully people will start turning up. Uh, where's our cache? Uh, nothing yet. Can we call the armoured truck early? It should be on its way in. I'm hoping. So we should still be making uh, money from our other casino as well. Woody Lane. Right, where's our cash for our ATMs and stuff? Armoured truck. Alright, what I want to do, let's go uh, five, 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 and five. Get those in, five of those. Table game chips, coins and notes. Guess we want five, just to make sure. Betting tickets, five. Card deck, five. Let's grab five of everything. Except for bed sheets, we don't need that right now, but I'm hoping the delivery comes pretty bloody soon. There you go, called early. So the delivery truck will come. Beautiful. Now let's call the armoured truck early as well so they can bring some cash in. There we go. That'll put us into a negative. Why are you putting it all in here? Why did they drop it off out the front? Should have been dropped off here, shouldn't it? I don't know. I really don't know. But what I want to do is obviously get this all designed up and stuff like that. But I'm hoping um, our other own casino, hopefully we can start bringing in some money from our other casino into here as well. We can start to boost this up. But this casino is going to be called Lucky's, Lucky's Slots. So when we can actually afford to get a sign in, uh, which is $5,000, we'll get a sign out the front on either side, Lucky's Slots. And um, hopefully a lot of people start coming in. But what are these security guys doing? Well, they're doing nothing. We've got to wait for these guys to bring some payout receipts in. Let's go like this. Workmen, let's go 10. Just get a whole heap of workmen coming in. There we go. And then when they're all done, we'll just throw it back to 5. So hopefully they'll start to bring everything in. And then start to stock all these machines. The 25 cents a dollar, then the next row behind will be 5, the next row will be 10. And then we can do some high limit gambling areas. And pretty much have this casino just, just as a slot casino, I guess. And have one of each table game um, somewhere in here. Alright, now we've got workers standing around do everywhere doing nothing. So you can all get sacked, go home. Why are you not getting payout receipts? Do we not have enough payout receipts for everything? Probably not. Uh, 120. All right, let's go 20. And I don't think we can call it early again. We've got no money anyway. Well, we do, but not enough. So there's not a lot for people to do. Come in and play the slots and then go home, pretty much. These guys need to get these other ones done. There we go, call early supply truck. So we can get the rest of the um, stuff brought in. And they're going to do that for a little while. Uh, good on them. Anyway guys, I'll let this sort of tick over a little bit. And um, see how we go. The next episode we can come back and work on this casino again. Maybe even check out our other one and you know work on that as well. But we're pretty much full up with customers at the moment. With the um, slots that are actually working. So... Right there, guys, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, if you want to see it continue. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. See you again soon.